Hey guys, it's Brian again from Lake Acre Scuba. Got a new scuba tip of the week. Uh, recently, I had a fellow instructor ask me how I personally clean my wetsuit. Uh, says he gets asked by students all the time. And though there's no real right one, right or wrong way to do it, what I'm going to show you is how I like to do it. I kind of utilize my Pelican box here because it's a good box to use. Simply, the only thing I'm going to do is just fill up the box full of water. I'm going to put my wetsuit down in, and depending on if I was diving in salt water or dirty water or whatnot, I'm going to let it soak for a few minutes, let all them particles kind of float to the top. And what I just use is this commercial gear wash here from Trident. I'm just going to put a couple little squirts in it and mix it up really good. And then I'm going to let that soak for about five to ten minutes. And then what I also like to do is I'm going to take a cap full of Listerine mouthwash, and I'm going to pour it in there and mix it up good too. What that does is break down all the bacteria that's got onto the suit, whether it's off my skin or the water. It also adds a fresh, clean smell to my wetsuit. We all know if you pee in your wetsuit, it's going to smell like pee. So it adds about a cap full of Listerine mouthwash or any other type of stuff like that. You want to make sure before you add it though that you read the label and make sure there's no type of ingredients that's going to damage the suit. And then after I've let it soak for a good while, I'm going to pull it out, spray it down once again on fresh water, and I'm going to make sure I use a good solid wetsuit hanger for it. It's good and wide. It's not going to put holes in the, on the shoulders of my suit. Uh, if you don't have one of these, they're cheap and expensive to pick up, but you can use regular hangers. Just use three or four of them at a time, so it makes sure you got a good enough amount of girth here so it doesn't tear up the shoulder. And last but not least, I'm going to hang it up to let it dry. And as you can see, we're in a good shaded area here. And you don't want to hang this thing directly in the sunlight because what's going to happen is that heat will tear down the elasticity of the suit and it's not going to give you a long lifespan of your wetsuit. So guys, that's this scuba tip of the week. Always make sure you clean the wetsuit every fifth to sixth dive that you do. Use the stuff that you've already got. Like I said, I use my Pelican box as a good water device for it. Uh, and all it takes is fresh, clean water. And if you like a good little fresh scent, put you some Listerine mouthwash. That's what I like to do. So, guys, as always, check back next week for a new video. Check us out on Facebook. Leave us comments or concerns. And as always, guys, we appreciate your business.